Stream hey guys, deck I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to hack. speed up your workflow. So I use the Stream Deck. This is basically simulates keyboard shortcuts for my doll. So if you're using Studio One, FL Studio, you want to be able to get into your software and work fast. Um, so I'm going to show you how quickly I can pop up a track just by pressing a button. I'm going to hit Keyscape. It's one of my favorite VSTs for piano. Bam. You see that popped up? So how did I do that? The Stream Deck basically simulates hotkeys, which we call shortcuts. So I'm going to bring up the editor for that. So as you can see, those are my buttons. So I named everything. And what you do is, so for a new, if I want to pull up a new track or a new VST, I got add, keyscape, and then here I'm running what's called a hotkey. So if you go to the system and click on hotkey, and then it's going to do it. And then that's where I name it. So it's add, keyscape. And then the, the shortcut I created in my software is Control K. So if I go over to my doll, I'm in Studio One. I'm going to go up to Studio One, go to Macro Organizer, and since I have a bunch of them, I'm not going to create a new one. But basically, as you can see, I'm going to click on Add Keyscape. And I one thing I do, I make a group so I can find all the custom ones I make. So I double click that. And so what I'm doing is basically adding a new instrument track. I'm giving it a name. So as you can see, it named it Piano. And then, okay, so I need to assign the VST. I'm going to double click it, Instrument. Then I can go and select which VST I have. So as you can see, all the VSTs I have. There's Keyscape. So I select the Keyscape. And if I had a saved preset of my own, it would actually show up in that list. And then I will save it. And that's how you get this unique information here. So once I do that, I hit OK. Then I got it one more step. I'll go back up to Studio One. And I'm gonna go down to I'm gonna go to keyboard shortcuts. All right, so these are all my shortcuts. So, okay, I didn't know what macro I just created, so I'm going to just type in add. So I always use the same name for everything. So, okay, so that's the one I call add key skate track, right? So now this, I'm, I'm grabbing my macro, so I'm going to click on it. And this is where you go right here, and you basically type in Control k whatever you want to do. You don't have to remember it. That's the cool thing. You don't have to remember what your shortcut is. So you find one, once you find one that's good, you hit assign and then it creates that control K. Now, if I were to press control K on my computer right now, even though I have a track there, I'm going to press control K. And voila, I got another track. Now, this is the purpose of this guy. So now when I created, created that control K, boom, I got it. And you can do so much more with this. So if I want to, I can actually, um, there's shortcuts for anything. So anything there's a shortcut for in your doll, you can make a button for. So I've got my transport buttons. Even though I have everything on my keyboard, I can hit my undo button and all that's there. So hopefully this lesson helped you guys. If you need more information or help, make sure you like and follow this video, comment below, and um, just keep making great music. I'm Rudy Banks, Banks Music. Peace.